Because music can make me feel things, you know, in my body that uh, words can't. Back to what journalism is supposed to be about. You're there to report the news. You're there to tell people what's happening. Hey, real question. Is this all we have left? Uh, see, I put the papers in here. I just forget anything. Okay. Hi, I'm Andrea Juarez. I'm the faculty advisor for El Enador, the English and Spanish student-run newspaper at Cal Poly Humboldt. The publication is a wonderful opportunity for students to get hands-on learning and to tell stories that matter to uh, people, whether they're students or people in the community. absolutely learn by doing. And one of the things that they have to learn, both in the photo and video production classes, is how to use a DSLR camera in manual mode. To capture still photos or video requires a lot of skill sets. The only way to do that is to put a camera in their hands and teach them how to use the controls. The second component of both of my classes involves using Adobe software. All right, so remember, yeah, you're gonna look in, right? And then you're gonna look over here. We're talking about that level, right? You guys over there here? Oh yeah, so is this from the interview interview at the skate park, right? Yeah. Nice. Actually do. So you can say, oh, how do I get the levels to show up? So what you want to do is go to the Windows camera and drop one of those down. And then you go to captions and graphics. It's gonna change it pretty dramatic. Nah, not too dramatically. And then yeah, let's go ahead and click on one of these. Kirby Moss, and uh, I am the program leader chair of journalism at Mass Comm. It's the, the hands-on piece of what we do here is it, it's, it's, it's applicable. You know, you take all the theories and concepts you learn, and we try to figure out ways to tell stories with those concepts and skills. The publications in particular, I mean, I think that's a it's a, it's a great training ground. You know, they have to deal with deadlines, they have to deal with managing their crews or with layout. They're not talking about doing journalism, they're doing it. Well, if you're making it smaller and they'll end up talking, you just fit it in that text box. I've enjoyed this class so much. Uh, the best part about it has definitely been just how hands-on it is and you get to work with real equipment. Also another thing that I've enjoyed is just how much freedom there is in the assignments but you still get to learn all the skills along the way. Even as a non-journalism major I know that I've learned a bunch of skills that will transfer over to my other classes in my chosen field. All right, so in this part of the tutorial, we're going to switch the workspace we're in. And remember, our workspaces are up here in the upper right. We're going to click on that tab. Right now, we're in the editing tab. That's where we're adding our stuff to our timeline. But we want to start working with graphics and our text. So we're going to switch down here to our captions and graphics workspace. You want to put the recording level for the microphone. You want to turn that down to like the quarter notch down there. So otherwise, you see how it's about to spike. So that way, we keep it from getting too loud. Yeah, like that. Remember, yeah, you're gonna look in, right? And then you're gonna look over here, because we're talking about that level, right? What's going on in the Lumberjack today? I'm kind of reading uh, Andy's uh, pumpkin pie recipe and uh, the recipe and the review of it. Oh, really? Where's that one at? Uh, page four. 